Starting New Year's Eve off with a breakfast that's gonna hopefully, uh, I was gonna say line the stomach, but I'm not really sure it is because these hash browns are actually for Tom, but you know, it's okay. There you go, you can take it, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Looks good though. Hello guys and happy New Year's Eve. I'm so excited about this vlog. I thought I'd film it separately because it is not every December 31st that you're on Sydney Harbour bringing in the new year. Like this is something I've dreamed about for a while. This is something I've kind of quite literally been manifesting since last new year. I remember last New Year's Eve, I was watching the telly. I always watch Sydney bring in the new year. I think it's because it happens at like UK lunchtime. And I remember saying to my mum as I sat in the living room, I'm gonna be there on Sydney Harbour next New Year's. And I mean that. And I kind of willed it into existence. I also remember, because I saw my friend Katie on New Year's morning last year. My and friend Katie. I saw Katie, my best friend. Oh, yeah, everyone knows me. I saw Katie, who was sat right behind the camera last New Year's morning, and we went for a little walk. Pipe down. <laughs> yeah, we went for a walk, and I remember I floated this idea to her because I was like, I really think I'm going to be in Oz next year, all of this. And she was like, I'll come and join you for New Year's Eve. And it really started out as one of those like hypothetical plans that you're kind of just talking about because wouldn't that be fun? But then we've actually manifested it into existence, and now here we are, both of us together in a hostel room in Sydney on December the 31st, about to bring in the new year in freaking Sydney. How did this happen? Unsure, but we're not complaining. We're not complaining. <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is one of the biggest, like, I can't believe that actually. This is also the TikTok sound. I kind of want to film this TikTok where it's like, when you can't believe the plan made it out of the group. Yeah. <laughs> because this is extreme. Like, we are on the yeah. other side of the world. This has been a bucket list moment. Like, I've kind of wanted to come do Sydney for new year ever since I was 15 and went to London for new year because I think that the fireworks here might be on a path with the London fireworks. Basically, Tom, Katie, me, my friend Caitlin, who we met on the Welcome to Travel Tour, Anna, who we also met on the Welcome to Travel Tour, all have tickets to the exact same area. So obviously, if you've ever seen the Sydney fireworks, they're done from the harbour. So the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, and all of the water in the middle. And there are loads of viewpoints all around the harbour, and we've all got tickets to the same one. So we're all gonna head there together. It's actually still pretty early, guys. It's only 4 p.m., but everything starts so early. Like the tickets that we've got, you can enter from 4 p.m. There's live music, there's entertainment, there's like food vans, and it's like a whole evening event. So we're gonna head there in probably the next hour once I've got my outfit on. But I just thought I would intro it now. I have filmed some other clips, so I will insert those before I continue. But yeah, I just thought I'd say hello. Happy New Year. This potentially is, oh no, this is gonna be my second video of 2023, but that's another thing. How is it 2023? What is going on? Let's do Australian New Year. Sorry, yay. <laughs> I'm looking at your story. Are you actually? Yeah. Woo! Anyway, if you're wondering where Tom is, he's actually ironing his shirt, which is dedication to it being a big event. So is this hair, by the way. I've not cut my hair like this since I got to Australia. Anyway, I'm waffling on. I'm going to flash back to this morning. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Tom has returned from his venture out to find New Year's Eve accessories. Sadly, not with any New Year's Eve accessory. New Year's Eve? Easy for you to say. New Year's Eve accessories, but with a whole thing of glow sticks, which turns out comes with the adapters and the. Good God, what is all of that, to I be don't honest? Know. It looks like. What are these little ones? Oh my God, do you know what it's it looks like? It's like connects. Yeah, connects. That's what yeah. I was going to say. Well, that's. But basically, guys, I was going to say, it comes with all the stuff that you can make sunglasses with them, so we can make glow stick sunglasses, which I actually think is quite New Year's uh, Eve. I might be able to do it in 2023. I'll try. Between you, you might get it. It might be like, okay, he has like 20, 20 and then 23. you have 23. Or we could just both have 23. True. Also, guys, uh, I've clearly not brushed out my hair yet. Like, I don't want you to be like, what the hell? Like, I'm going to brush this out. It's just setting. No, I think it'll just look naff. Tom's gonna try whilst we finish getting ready. Oh, yeah, I know. My hair, my hair probably will look that. Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was sorry. like, wow. So rude. No, Tom's gonna try and make some glasses whilst we get ready. What are these ones for? There's no, there's no instructions. I think it's a free for all. You just make whatever you can. Well, Why does it come with so many parts? I don't know. Just enjoy the ride. 
I have done my hair and makeup-ish. I'm gonna touch my hair up and probably my makeup a little bit. But we're gonna head down to the hostel kitchen and cook some pasta now. It is like 2.50. It's a really weird time to eat, but like, like I said, we're gonna be heading out fairly early. So we're not really gonna have dinner. Although apparently there are food stalls, so I'm sure we'll get snacks and like stuff later. But we're gonna have pasta now so that we've definitely eaten something. We've got the goods, we're starting now. It is 3 p.m. So you know, New Year's Eve, 3 p.m. I think that's acceptable. Here we go, floor one, it's gonna be the kitchen. I hope there's nobody here waiting. Sure what are the odds? What do you reckon? 100% there will be. Katie's, Katie's cracking it open. Here we go. Nothing says New Year's I think Eve. It's busy. Is it? Or maybe. Nothing says New Year's Eve like a uh, wine or prosecco out of a paper cup. Yeah, I think the scatter, that's busy. Oh, cool. I mean, I'm not mad at it. It is out of a paper bowl. Other than that, I'm not mad at it. Hostel life with our uh, pink Moscato prosecco thing. You know what though? I think this is a good meal. Guys, I have finished getting ready. You've technically already seen this, but I've curled my hair. I've done a little bit of like, well, I have done a full face of makeup, but I've not gone super heavy on the eyes just because I know it's going to be a long night. And if you do really heavy eyeliner, by the end of the night, it's usually run, probably crying. I don't know, New Year's is a weird one. Um, but I've got just like glittery eyes, this lip gloss, and then, oh, you can't really see the color of it. I'm gonna wear this like kind of creased, but it's okay, satin blue dress from Zara. I actually bought this for my birthday and I wore it on my birthday, but when I got it, I was like, that is also a perfect New Year's dress. I feel like there's something about the color like midnight blue, dark blue, something glittery. Basically the rules are dark, navy, black, or glitter. I feel like that's New Year's. Katie's gone for glitter. Her dress looks amazing as well, but it's like rose gold glitter. I'm actually really glad that we're not in the same colour because I feel like it'll be nice for photos. We're gonna get cute photos. Yeah, I'm so excited, guys. I'm gonna get changed now. Oh, that'll be Thomas. Hello. Hello. How did your ironing go? Okay. Did it? It's really shit iron. Oh, is it? Yeah. To be fair, that's better than it was. It's very hard. It's very hard material to iron as well. Quite as soon as, thick. Like, as soon as you move it, it just recreases the bit you've just ironed. Yeah, it looks fine. It's just the sleeves I couldn't really. It do. looked worse before. That's oh. an improvement. Yeah. There you go. You can kind of see our outfits. Not really. My dress is from Zara. Katie's is pretty little thing. Yes. I do quite like this dress, it's just very, very short. But other than that, I think we're ready. I think we are. I also think, I feel like we, we've we scrubbed up pretty okay compared to this morning. True. When we were feeling a bit rough, and also Katie's still pretty jet lagged. Like, you've only actually been here three days. You're I know, only, to be you're probably only just adjusting. I'm doing quite well. She's doing great. But yeah, we're gonna head downstairs, we're meeting Caitlin, we're gonna have a few drinks, I'm gonna pop back up here, get my phone off charge, and then we're gonna go. Who's excited for New Year's Eve? Can I get a woo? Here we go guys, we're getting the tram as far as we can get it, which isn't that far because we're getting off at Town Hall and we want to be in Circular Quay, so we are going to have to walk a little bit. No one on the vlog is going to know what that means. They might if they're from Sydney or if they've been here for New Year themselves. Or if they're travelling because they've been influenced by Molly. All that. <laughs> Tom, I actually thought you had I thought you had a dairy milk in your hand. I didn't realise that was the glow stick. <laughs> we are arriving at Circular Quay. It's so busy. Caitlin earlier said that there's estimated to be a million people in Sydney today. Bear in mind the population of Australia is only 25 million. That's one twenty-fifth of the entire country is in Sydney. Which is quite mad. That's a lot though. Like that is, that a, is lot. a lot. I'm more impressed that you managed to do that math. Oh, thank you, Tom. <laughs> anyway, I'm surprisingly really warm. I brought Katie's white shirt because I thought, oh, my, mine doesn't really go. But also, yeah, she's always I'm cold. always cold, and later on it might get chilly. I think it might when this one gets not chilly. But no, just your windy, level maybe. chilly. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. That does look nice. Anyway, we're in. No, we're not in. Well, we're sort of in. We're in the rocks, but we need to get like inside. I'm so excited, guys. I don't know what to expect at all. This is the setup, guys. We have got glow sticks, Uno cards, snacks, drink, and um, this bad boy that I bought for two dollars on the walk down here. So you know, pretty good. There actually wasn't any other stalls. No, there was no other stalls. Tom was like, "Oh, you bought the worst one. You bought the first one you saw." And I was like, "No, just in case." Anyway, this is the view we've got, guys. Ready? Like the Opera House, the bridge. Okay, the bridge is a little bit covered by these trees, but overall, I'm pretty yeah, impressed. The fireworks are there above it. Yeah, the fireworks are let off in the sky. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, from here we can see the flags on the top. I want to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, we got here like not early, early, and we're still pretty much at the barrier. Like this is the barrier for the front. So I'm pretty impressed with that. I would say we've got a good spot, considering the tickets only cost twelve pounds as well. Not bad. So far, so good. Ask me again in five hours when I've got a completely numb bum from sitting on the ground, but. So far we're doing okay. Yeah. Mm. This is not gonna make it to the New Year's Eve one. <laughs> it might! This is gonna be a montage! Oh, I'm really badly shoveled in her cards. <laughs> oh yeah, and New Year's is in me. So this is what we're doing right now, it's first time, guys. It's fun. Right, well we've all seen Molly's cards now. Can't leave that thing. Yeah, it's not even <laughs> real, you know. 
Here we go. Yes. Jacob looks great. This is Jacob, by the way. Welcome to the vlog. Oh, the vlog. This is the vlog, yeah. yeah. I think this is the best you've ever looked, to be fair. These glasses are, uh, do you want to see yourself? Oh my fashion. God, fashion <laughs> Everybody's going to be so jealous of us with these guys. I think this is the peak of, uh, nobody will look as cool as us. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so they also do fireworks at 9pm for the children, I'm not really sure why. I'm gonna film these because I feel as though I'd rather have my camera out and like show you these than at actual midnight. and they've lit up the roof and it looks pretty spectacular the roof the ceiling and fairy light you know what I cannot believe it's 2024 and I don't know about you it's not even a telescope reference I feel like it just became 2020 we've lost Caitlin heading back now it's quite a long walk though isn't it I don't actually know I don't know where I am no I do know where I am yeah it's probably it's just a straight like, line to be fair maybe like six or seven more minutes no, it's not a square pad than that. It's about 20 more minutes, I think. No. 15. It's 2023 and we're in Sydney. We're in the middle of the sea. It's so busy. They weren't not stopping. It is uh It's the new year! Guys, it's 2 a.m. I don't even know how because we've not been anywhere else. It took an hour to walk back from the fireworks. I was just taking off my makeup and then we did get some chips. Didn't really have dinner as such. Well, I kind of had pasta before I went, but like the queues in there were manic. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Like our friends that went to get food and then went to the toilet. It took an hour and a half to go to the toilet and then get food. Like it was so long. Katie and I braved the toilet once in six hours because I was just like, no, simply I'm not doing this because it was worse than like a festival. Like literally. Leeds Festival was less manic than that. However, everything else was really well organised and it wasn't actually that stressful. Like, we kind of picked a spot at about six o'clock and we just stayed there. Like, everybody that was obviously, like, a bit more prepared knew what they were doing and they'd come with, like, picnic blankets, food hampers, they'd, like, set up a whole, like, area. We walked past one family that had set up a whole area 
including a game of Monopoly. They had like a camping light and like camping stuff and they just put a board game in the middle of everything and I was like, they've done this before. We were a bit less prepared. We just had like a few packets of crisps and were sat on the pavement. But to be honest, it was what it was. And we played Uno and that passed the time. But I feel as though this is one of those things where it's not gonna really feel real until a few more days. Like I feel as though it was some kind of fever dream and I'm like, oh my God, it's 2023, which is just so what the hell. But also like, I just saw the Sydney fireworks with my own eyes what it was it was different to how i expected it to be honest the whole area that we were in was like a no alcohol zone in fact most of the city was a no alcohol zone which i just cannot imagine being the case like imagine going to london and being told you can't drink like i just think that to be fair, i don't know what the rules are actually on the like river bank in london but i just think generally people would be like kicking off at that whereas here that was very normal to be honest i just said to tom and to katie like i'm kind of glad that we haven't really had a drink or anything because it's a long day and although usually you're out partying usually you're out celebrating this was kind of like a once in a lifetime thing this is not your average new year's i don't really know how much i even filmed this might be a very short little vlog but we'll see right now i'm gonna go to sleep first sleep of 2023 i'm really annoying tom with all of these oh my god it's the first this of the year it's the first, this is, <laughs> my favourite one is, um, I'm I've, not, I've not had a shower since last year. I've not washed since last year, that's always a good one. Guys, I'm 25 next year. That makes me feel like actually physically a bit sick. Guys, I'm only single next year. <laughs> Tom is so sick of me doing this. I'm like, oh my God, you're 22 and I'm 25 next oh, year. Stop. <laughs> Right, I'm actually going to bed, I'm a bit delirious, but the fact that I'm 25 next year is sending me into a bit of a crisis, to be honest. What a night. 